Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the network adapter is missing in Windows 10. So if you're noticing it through the device manager, you don't actually see it, or perhaps there's some kind of error that it's not coming up in the control panel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a couple workarounds for this. So first thing I am going to do is actually open up the start menu and search for device manager. And we're going to go ahead and open that up. I'm going to select the view tab and then I'm going to check mark where it says show hidden devices. So if you notice that perhaps it was missing from there so then if you were to open up your network adapters from there maybe there was something missing that wasn't listed in here before but now since you have enabled this view hopefully now it would be visible to you. So that could be as simple as that. Another thing you can go ahead and try here would be to actually if you see a network adapter in here or network connection you can try uninstalling it. So if you just go ahead and like for the network connection for example here and you were to right click on it and uninstall device and you were uninstalled and then you restart your computer as long as you had it connected so if it was an internal adapter you don't have to do anything or if you had it unplugged from your computer like it was an external dongle connected to the adapter so if it was an older desktop perhaps that didn't have the built-in Wi-Fi then you just would make sure that's plugged in, restart your computer, and then see if that has resolved the problem. You can also try going and closing out of here and opening up the SAR menu, type in CMD, best result should say command prompt, go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now in this elevated command line window, you want to go type in NETSH space Winsock. W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset exactly how it appears on my screen hit enter your keyboard to run that so at this point you will need to go ahead and restart your computer which I would recommend doing and one further thing if you're still having an issue would be to go ahead and just completely reset your network adapter from scratch so you will need to have your Wi-Fi passcode nearby if you're using a Wi-Fi connection and once you restart your computer, you're going to have to enter back in your Wi-Fi credentials. So make sure you have that before proceeding with the next step or option in this video. So once you have that nearby, we're going to go jump in that final fix that I'm going to show you guys. So open up the start menu, type in network reset. Go ahead and select the best match. Should take network reset, system settings. Go ahead and left click on that. And then go ahead and select reset now. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Go ahead and select yes. And now your computer will restart within five minutes. So I would recommend just closing out of any open programs and applications and go ahead and restart your computer at this time. Okay guys, there you go. So if you're using Wi-Fi, you just go ahead and enter in your password to be prompted to. Otherwise, just asking us if we want to make our PC discoverable by other computers and devices. So again, pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.